Hey, quick question for all the people watching this practice video. We're at the Chowan, Ch Chowan River. This place will put some hours on that mercury. It's unbelievable how big it is. Let's look at the camera. Let's look right here. Do you see that bank over there? That is not a damn optical illusion. It looks like it's close. That bank right there, nine miles away. It's big. It's a long way. All right, y'all, welcome back to the channel. This is practice day number two at the Chuan River. This place is massive. Hopefully the wind does not go more than 10 knots today because it's going to be rock and roll and we're going to have to try and chop. You excited? I'm pumped. I hope, I hope it does get a little windy so I can just spray you all day. You love doing that. It's part of my day. It's yep. the best part of my day. Yep. Beautiful sunrise, beautiful watercolor. Let's go find some bass. Y'all, enjoy the day with us at the Chowan River. That's why we come. Skinny as a rail, son. That's why we're here. Shout out Mike Malone. <laughs> I just kind of had a little small seizure right then. I'm excited. This place has got them, boys. They're just really hard to find right now. That fish was out off the bank out here on a stick up, suspended on it. How about that? Chowan, baby. Chowan. That's a good bass right there. Thank you, Lord. I don't talk about this a lot, but we do go to some pretty cool places that are unique. You know what I mean? Like, so I've seen a lot of fisheries. Whether they're good or bad, this place is good, but it's just hard to figure out. I don't, I don't know them. I don't know these places. I'm just, I'm just fishing. You know what I mean? You never met these fish before. I've never met these before, so they're just... They're a little shy. They're brand new. <laughs> they're brand new to sizzle. So... But they live... They live here. Oh, I got another one on me. Freaking big. Oh my gosh, that's another big one. Wow. Huh. Man, I got a little zone on this guy. How about that? See, there's one on that stump out there? There's a bunch of stumps up there. See all them stumps? Yeah. But I just had another one come out on my jerk bag right there. And I know that was a bass. There's two of them on that tree. Good bass. Good bass. Good bass. Good bass.
Boom, bop, got him. Three pounder. <laughs> oh, pig stick, son. Dang, man, we might have a little stretch. There's a good one on that one. There's a good one on this one. Look, he's got a little shell on him. Oh, that's a little leech. See it right there? Son, that's what I'm talking about. Boom, baby. If I freaking go, I'm gonna let her go. Dang, that's a good fish, too. Heck yeah. We call him on pig stick. This is a bait that's coming out here soon from Crust City. He's got a good little swaggy look at him. Twerking, twerking that thing. Come on. So there's a three pounder, two, three pounders on those. Huh. I think there's a little section that's got them right there here. Because I'm actually seeing them on the tree too. Like if you look right behind that tree, you'll see a couple. And you'll see me get hung up in every limb. Oh my gosh. Another fish on a big stick. May have this little zone that we like right through here. And I really do like it because I'm not seeing a lot of, a lot of boats. Huh, good little section. Oh, I got a gar. Why do I have a gar on a pig stick? Nobody knows why I have a gar on a pig stick. Does anybody know why I have a gar on a pig stick? I don't really know. Well, <laughs> we're in a gar hole. <laughs> this is going to be sketchy. Well, we're in a gar hole. Oh, you got him right in the middle of the nose, too. Now what? Go on a pig stick. We're just gonna keep bee bopping down through here and see if we see if we found something or not. There's, I'll definitely hit that though. That whole stretch because I didn't throw, I didn't throw a pig stick on them trees up there before then. So. Dude, we don't find a stretch, my guy. Ah! We don't find us a stretch. <laughs> we got a stretch. This is a good little stretch. We've had like four scoreable bites right through here. Five, maybe six in no time. The only problem is there's a boat right over here coming up. That was on a piggy stick. Piggy stick. Pig stick. So you get the pig stick, and then you get the 2 0, or the number two. See, a number one would work too. I kind of, I've been chunking the two. We'll just open that brand new packy. Number two, weedless, wacky Nico. As you can tell, I'm really organized. <laughs> As you can tell, my leader line is really long, man. I really love a long leader. <laughs> I haven't retied that leader in a hot minute. That was a two and a quarter pounder, maybe two and a half. 
Yeah. All right, we need to get off this stretch. This is this is good right here. I didn't find anything like this yesterday. So yesterday, I I went down. Um, I went down the way down here inside the Chowan, and I didn't really like. I mean, I say I didn't like it. I caught some fish, and it was a. I would say a successful morning. But like, here's the thing that I get caught doing. I get caught up wanting to, you know, always do my comfort zone, which I say that you need, you need to always do that when you're fishing. But I got caught up wanting to go in that river and go catch them in the current, in the Roanoke River. And I was like, man, I was like, I really want to go fish the current. You know, so I'm sitting there and I'm like, I'm gonna put it on the trailer. So I did it at three o'clock and I drove all the way over there, 40 minutes, straight over there and didn't catch crap. So I'm like, all right. Now, I'm a big time current guy, but if they ain't biting in the current, I'm not gonna stay. So I don't necessarily like skull pitching a, a pig stick on these trees. This is goofy, but like, I can't, you can't always do what you want. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's kind of like the song. Yeah. What's that song? You can't always get what you want. You can't always get what you want. Who sings that? I don't know. You can't always get what you want. Well, I wanted to uh, go in there and stomp them in the current with fun jigs, stuff like that. So we're back out here in the show on. Froggy. That's a pound and a half. All day. Huh. What a swampy. What a bite. What, what is a swamp bass? Explain what a swamp bass is. They don't never leave. They live in the swamp their whole life. They just never leave. They're dark as can be. They're swampy. They're just... That's all they can do. They just, they just can't help themselves. They're swampy. We uh, slid up in Bennett's Creek. Thinking Bennett ain't got nothing in it. <laughs> Bennett ain't got nothing in it. But I did just catch a scoreable bass. Frogging some little bit of this duckweed catching these swamp bass. They seem like, well look, somebody's gonna throw the frog through here. They seem like they wanna be beside a stump or something. There's some fish in here. I mean, there, there's a few, but it ain't nothing. There's a few. Now, see how dark they are? That's a swampy, just straight up dark bass. Look like Florida bass. Oof. 
What was that? It was like a there was like a little little drop of water that just went right down the lens. I don't know if you can catch. I don't, I don't know. I just had those two bites. I just want to see you know get a little taste. You know what I mean? Just get a little taste, see what's happening. I don't want to miss something that's fairly easy. I mean, we ain't got complicated. Just go find duckweed and throw a frog. All right, so that tree pokes out. This one's on it. No, nobody's home. I'll tell you what is home is heat. Oh, it's starting start to show up, boys. It's getting hot. See how damn dark, Florida tannic looking the water is? Mm -hmm. Them big ones are out there. You know it. Stay in here, I'm not. The big ones are out there, boys. We're going back where the big ones are. Uh, let's get back on our game plan. We're we'll going to go back and fish some brush. Try to find a few stretches of trees. Shad in his throat. What is that? Big shad. Well, that's interesting. Big thread fin. Okay. Dude, I think these bass might be schooled up somewhere, like dinged up. Like we might go idle for a few minutes. Because uh, typically. When you see that, and I caught that fish way out from the bank out here. I'm telling you, man, I, I, I think there's something we're missing here. I think there's a school or a place that's offshore, like a crankbait, or, because I'm kind of fishing this stuff like I would Santee Cooper. And I know they get schooled up there. So I've seen them on some in piles. And they, there's something that we're missing here. I don't know what. This is the bad thing. We gonna find this one on the perimeter. I saw that fish. That's some of the big ones that I've been seeing. See, there's a bunch of these fish out here. There we go. Heck yeah. How about that, boys? Oh, I know. There was another one. There was another one bigger with him. Boys, wanna let her go? Close to four pounder. This place is good, buddy. Baby. Oh, she gonna jump for me. Here she goes. Yes, sir. Let's freak. Yeah. Alright. So so we'll win. That's <laughs> uh, so funny. I love saying that and it never works. <laughs> <laughs> Call her on janitor. Call her on janitor. She's in there going doop, doop. So here's my thing. 
that fish was out here on one of these flat points. I think the only way to kind of differentiate yourself, if you do want to fish out, is fish some of these flat points. I mean, I don't really want to be throwing a drop shot, but. Another one on the pig stick. Another one on the pig pig. On the piggy. On piggy. Oink, oink. On that pig stick. Mm. Sorry, well, y'all. I'm just talking to myself. What are, you dial, what are you dialing in on? Guys, I ain't going to complicate it. We have now shifted to throwing the pig stick again. I caught some on the pig stick earlier, but we were in a little bit clearer water up there. We got down the way a little bit and I don't necessarily want to do this all day but dude there there's just too many bass doing this like like I'm gonna catch another one right here on these four trees and one of them is probably gonna be about a two and a half pound there he is right there he's coming off Little Miss Piggy. Pig sticks, huh? Oh, man, she got that to the gullet. She was taking the pig stick. Ah. Hey, y'all ever heard that song, Get Down On It? Y'all ever heard that? Well, she bit down on it. A bit down on it. She bit down on it. A big guy but a good guy there was about 20 with him we'll be back we will be back oh piggy he liked the pig miss piggy pig stick son claims another one i'm gonna be honest with you i may even run out of pig sticks this week i know a buddy of mine that may have a couple we're gonna keep trucking boys i think we've found us a good little zone we can generate some bites in see what we can do with the chow on Way more bass through here, bud. I actually like this place now. There's like 10 of them on that. I'm not throwing back in there. 
This is my zone. This is my zone. I own this zone. This is my zone. That was a pretty cool deal, was it not? That was pretty good. Did you get the blow up? That one did. That was freaking awesome. Call you shot like that? I said, dang, them are so high, they might buy the top water. Boosh! Let's freaking go. They wouldn't buy nothing else, let me just tell you that. Dude, that's <laughs> super sneaky. The sneakiest. All right, y'all. So, kind of give you a little update on practice. We have idled a little bit. We have fished cypress trees. I have rolled up on a bunch of different kind of things. A while ago, I had that spook bite on top, top water bite. But I'm, I kind of got like a two prong approach going. I got brush piles and I got those trees. I don't really have to go practice those trees. So what we're gonna do the rest of the day is go look for some sneaky stuff if you need a big bite or if you need a bite, I can run to it instead of just going down the bank with everybody else because they're out off the bank, which is pretty cool. So we're going to keep the cameras rolling, but that's the game plan right now the rest of the day. So if we catch a big one, we'll be sure to show you. We caught one. I didn't mean to. How about that, baby? We five, gotta get a picture with that one. Five and a half. Yeah, we gotta get a picture with that one. All right, let's get a picture. Okay. All right, big girl. That's what's up right there, baby. Let's freaking go. I didn't mean to catch her, but that's the biggest one of the week for me the past two days. That's what I'm talking about right there. They're pouring down there with them little big. I gotta hit it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's go. There's another stick right there. I think it's all about a zone. We're just in a we're in a good zone. We settled in a good zone. I had my first couple bites way back over there. This up there here is juice. I mean juice, baby. All right, no more dirt bait for the day. No more dirt bait. All right, y'all, North Carolina just won. Don't even know what they're playing. Y'all want to look at it? LSU got shafted, which I don't really care. Colin. I don't really care about LSU. Hey, Colin, where are you going, bro? <laughs> Colin's going to cry out in the bushes. <laughs> oh, man. All right, guys, that's going to wrap up practice here at the Chowan. Uh, hey, thank you for the comments on the travel vlog. Fun fact. What was the name of the Indians here? 
it was like, I don't remember, but it wasn't. Don't don't look at me like that. Come on now. I didn't read it. You read it. You said it to me. We gotta we gotta look this up here in a little bit. Okay. Um, appreciate the comments on the history lessons, but there was an Indian settlement here. They they call them. Uh, that's why it's called the Chowan. 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 Yeah. So and, and I think the Roanoke cool. was named after like a chief or something like yeah. that. Yeah. It was, yeah. Roanoke. Yeah. Yeah. It was cool. It was it was cool little history lesson. So uh, we're trying to get a little cultured around here at the Chowan. Speaking of getting cultured, tomorrow would be nice to drop about 93 pounds. Yeah. That'd be nice. We're not on the same old shirt, be dog. Yeah, I know. That ain't going to happen. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, practice is done. Decent practice. The only thing about it is this place is ever-changing. The tide comes in. The wind blows it out. I mean, it could easily blow in. <laughs> you, sound, you sound saucy right now. <laughs> <laughs> Let me change my tone real quick. A lot of stuff changing here. The wind blows a certain direction, it may change. It may change some stuff. Yeah. There is apparently there's only a wind tide here. Is that right? Correct. It's only wind. It's all wind. wind which is, it is wind driven. Which, which I can which, tell that. Today. Which like Okeechobee, wind driven. It'll drop a foot. On Champlain. The south Champlain. Oh, Champlain. Champlain. Same wind thing. Driven a lot. Mm -hmm. Big Same, time. Same. Same thing with like, um, heck, I mean, like Santee. Most bodies of water, honestly. Yeah. Oh, 100%. When well, the wind blows, obviously, we have to drop on one side. Yep. Lake Erie's horrendous for that. Like, it'll wow. drop two, three feet. Well, I was it all up. Yeah, two feet out. Over there. So, hopefully, this week the wind doesn't get too bad. I think Thursday's going to get a little bit choppy. A little, a little bumpy. But tomorrow's going to be calm. Day yeah. one's coming at you. You're in Group A, they're in Group B. Yep. I mean, me and Mark are in Group A. They're in group B. I don't know what the cutaway's mm. gonna be. We're just not we're just gonna just go fish. That's what we're gonna do. So Is that what we're gonna do? We're gonna go fish, man. I don't really know. Yeah. Maybe we maybe all of us get the top ten. Maybe one of us, who knows? We'll see. Lock in. Just gotta lock in. So uh appreciate y'all tuning in. Day one's coming at you next. I have a feeling though there's gonna be some big bass caught this week. You you've weighed in at eight so far this year, haven't you? Eight pounders. Have you? What's your big bass this year? Uh, two and three quarters. You can't leave. <laughs> listen, you can't leave here with a two and three quarters. I know. Like, there's gonna what's, be. What's the, what is the average bass gonna be this week? I think it's gonna be four and a half. See, the weird thing is, it's either four you catch half. a big one or you, you catch a small. Like, there's not a yeah, lot of four, four, pounders. four pounders here. I don't think. I think everybody in the tournament will weigh in a four pounder over two days. You don't think so? Maybe. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna be like J Dub and catch a nine and a quarter. I he did catch a nine and a quarter. Hey, hey did you get that on your video? I got it. Be sure to check that out when that comes out because I'd nine. love to see that big sucker. Yeah. Definitely. Got to my. Well, was oh. it a nine what? Nine. Nine point two oh. Between one seven and two oh. Big. When you catch one that big, you honestly just shake your head like this is silly. I, I this like, is just a big silly, oh my gosh. silly one. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's an egg. That's a dang big one. You're kind of scared of him, he's so big. Yeah, he's got a big <laughs> giant. I thought, I thought it was funny. He told me a story. He's like, yeah. So I just seen this giant blimp out there. I didn't know if it was a bass or what. It's cast over there and it bites him. And he, and he realizes it was sitting on a stick. Yeah. <laughs> but you didn't even it see it. He was sitting stick. on a stop. And I just saw the blimp. And when he came up and ate my stuff, I didn't even. No, he was sitting like on a stop. Like, he was sitting on a stop. He was so big, he was bigger than the stop. <laughs> and then I'm like, mm, you, you, you ain't a bat. There ain't no way you're a bat. Big, big he, he whisker. Big bull shark. The bull shark. Well, all right, day one starts tomorrow, me and Mark. Yes, sir. Two guys are in group B. Y'all like, subscribe. Be sure to follow all my boys. We'll see you. Peace. <laughs>